Okay, uh, you've seen the news articles, the Army manuals for gun confiscation, re-education camps, civilian inmate labor camp program, uh, the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, all of this. You've seen New York Times scout trains to fight terrorists and more. You know, it says right here, killing Iraq veterans that don't turn their guns in. That's New York Times. You know about this. You saw the AP days after we broke it here with Doug Hagman of the Northeast Intelligence Network. Uh, a guy with no criminal record going to visit his wife who's in the military in Okinawa. He's in J Japan. And they say, you're not flying. They told him, uh, you're a prepper. And he went to a prepper meeting and you criticized that we sent a Fed in. Uh, you talked about it on the web, you, so you don't fly anymore. And then AP picked it up and admitted it. Uh, this is their control grid. Look, if you're awake and know what's going on and see the tyranny, and you don't want to be dependent, you're the enemy. If you want an Obama phone, if you want your welfare check, if you want your food stamps, you're what the globalists want. This is a takedown of the economy. Agenda 21, that's why they're shutting down the Amish, the lemonade stands, the, the backyard gardens. The, the, it's happening. The Soviets took over Ukraine like this. Poland. They know what the, the, the communist Chinese did this in the Cultural Revolution, great leap forward. This is their program. And I want to give you Soldier X. We've got his info. He's actually on duty. This is his break right now. He's got to go in about 25 minutes. Sir, you covered it in an incredible way last night with Rob Dude. In fact, I don't think I could do as good a job as Rob Dude did just laying out uh, all the facts. That video and that interview is at Infowars.com at the bottom of the article, National Guard whistleblower, doomsday preppers will be treated as terrorists. Tell us when this happened, what they called you in, what they said to you guys, word for word. Tell us exactly what they said to you about the, the, the preppers will be targeted as terrorists and troops that are preparing uh, are uh, the uh, term they used uh, you know, I guess it means they're calling uh, people like that. Well, we'll we'll break it all down. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, uh, there was a little bit of wind there on your phone. Uh, th th thank you for joining us, uh, Soldier X. You're here in Texas, a National Guard. Uh, you've got the floor. Give us a briefing. Tell people what, what they told you. Basically, what we've been told is that a serious civil unrest uh, before or after the election, that they're going to be used to calm the civil unrest, and what's going to take place is they're going to use uh, National Guard troops to go after people that they see as a threat. Uh, doomsday preppers are going to be treated as terrorists. Any soldiers that are doomsday preppers will be treated as defects, and they'll be handled accordingly, which I don't know exactly what handled accordingly means, but those are the words they use. Well, defect, defect means defector to America. This is a Red Dawn takeover through our military. While they simultaneously say the veterans are the number one terrorist, that you're supposed to march off against them. Uh, you, your phone connection isn't as good as it was last night. Try to talk around right on your phone for us, sir. We appreciate your courage coming on here. Specifically, though, uh, t tell us about the briefing, what they said to you. Uh, I mean, give us every little tidbit. Um. I know that uh, as far as prepping for this goes, um, we've been told that uh, if the civil unrest is bad enough, that they're basically going to take over everything um, from gas stations to grocery stores to God knows what. And uh, as far as the prepping goes, I've seen where um, they're saying, and I, I've seen it myself, uh, receiving the equipment to set up makeshift fuel stations. Makeshift uh, filling stations? National Guard whistleblower, doomsday preppers will be treated as terrorists. And Melissa Melton's article starts, I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And the Bill of Rights and Constitution and Declaration of Independence clearly states Everything we're publicly seeing from the TSA to highway checkpoints to NSA warrantless spying to drones, it's all totally illegal, and we have a lawless government run by foreign banks. In fact, guys, we just played Ted Turner saying he's glad the troops are killing themselves on CNN. People seem to be so broke back, they think that's okay out there. Two days, national TV, not even an issue. Uh, here's Kurt Nemo's article. European Union has put out new posters all over the 15 member states with a giant star with, you guessed it, a hammer and sickle on it. 
And th this is being put up all over Europe by the European Union government, unelected. And uh, it has the hammer and sickle on it. See, it's time for everything to be in your face now. You understand? It's time for everything to be in your face because they're about to go live on us. They're about to go hot on us. And the, the hammer and sickle has, under the Soviets and under the uh, communists in other areas like China, has conservatively in the last hundred years since 1917, so in the last 90-something uh, you know, years, killed 170 plus million people. Hitler, all casualties combined, 20 million. Over 150, some estimates are 170. They vary, 150, 160, 170, whatever. 100, because they, they argue about how many mal kill was it? 60 something million or 80 something million. The CIA says 60 something million. They helped put him in in 49. The Chinese government today says, apologizes, says 60, I mean, says 80 something million. I mean, let me talk about these numbers. Okay, they will do this here. You, you've heard the FBI people that infiltrated the weatherman here, where they said, yeah, they said once they take over and collapse things, they're going to put 50 million in re-education camps and kill half. And that's the plan, is to tell the military during a collapse, okay, here's a list of people that are terrorists, and they're just going to fly over with helicopters and blow your house up. And the average starving welfare person will be like on the news watching the television going, woohoo, yeah, take out the terrorists. And it'll be, we're, we'll get the lights back on, we'll get all the power back on. You people will be in community areas watching the TVs. We'll get you more food, more welfare, more Obama phones as soon as we've rounded up the terrorists. And the entire military, the police are training to take on the veterans, which is actually meant to wipe them out. They want us all to kill each other in a staged civil war. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? Every move you make, global criminals, we're watching you. I know the globalists are upset that our founders fought for the Second Amendment as an emergency backup against takeovers by infiltrators just like this, the number one thing they were worried about. Uh, I know that you're mad that a lot of us still know how to skin a buck and tr run a trot line. You're very upset that we know how to use firearms and that we won't go to your FEMA camps. And uh, I know you hate the troops. Simultaneously, you need to use the troops against the American people. So you try to tell the troops the veterans are the enemy. I mean, folks, just look at the people running the government say George Washington's bad. Now, our, our, he was able to get a clear line. He's got about 15 minutes with us. Uh, let's go back to Soldier X. Recap, you've got the floor. This is a short segment. When this happened, what you were told, not exactly where they'll figure out where you're at here in Texas, and then what they told you and what the response was. Go ahead. Okay, um, it was about two weeks ago we had a briefing and they told us that um, that they were preparing for civil unrest before, during, and after the election and that during the civil unrest that the National Guard would be used to go out and calm the civil unrest. The problem with that is that they were saying that our top contenders as enemies would be the doomsday preppers and that they would be treated as uh, terrorists and that we were to take them as terrorists. Um, they told us that any soldiers that were doomsday preppers would also be treated as uh, defects and that they would be handled accordingly. I don't know what they meant by handled accordingly, but that's the words they used. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now where um, we're hearing a lot of stuff about how, and I learned this from one of my NCOs, that um, they're going to use the National Guard troops to go take things away from regular American people. And any of us who decide not to do that will be handled accordingly. Well, I grew up in Texas and all that good stuff, and I grew up with guns. And I don't, you know, my dad taught me all about the Second Amendment. And my dad's been listening to, to, to you, Alex, since uh, before Y2K. And uh, so... Basically, I mean, I, I've been raised on the Second Amendment and the belief in it, and I see through all the holes that, you know. Sure, just to be clear, your, your, your NCO is telling you you're preparing for gun confiscation, and I guess he thinks that's going to be a fun mission. And, and that, I mean, this is open treason, saying Americans that are getting prepared for the collapse that we're terrorists. I mean, that's a total act of treason, sedition against the Republic. That is a military insurrection for a foreign power is totally illegal. I, I, I mean, 
Uh, did your NCO, non-commissioned officer, seem excited about this? No. Um, the group of us that have said that we will not be part of the taking of the guns and, and be part of the, the calming of the civil unrest, um, basically, we haven't, like, been open about it in front of our commanders and stuff because we don't want anything to happen to us. Yeah, no, I think the time is... For everybody to start going public and doing YouTube videos and go to the media, and they can't get everybody, and we'll stop this attempted coup d'etat that they're trying to complete against our country. Do you understand, sir? That's not rhetoric. What you're being told is high treason and totally illegal by these people. Yes, sir, and I do understand that. And mine and my buddy's plans were that when the shit hits the fan for us to go what we consider underground and um wait for the right time to be able to take back America. Well, the right time is now uh, in the info war, sir. And you're doing that on air, and I, I commend you. But, uh, I mean, look, we got the Army manuals admitting gun confiscation drills. Uh, they're all linked in the article by Melissa Melton. The, the, all of it. I mean, it's time for talk show hosts. It's time for everybody to realize we've got a criminal, rotten government. And if we don't stand up to these crooks now, they're going to drop the hammer and try to totally take over. And people... If you think cowering to these scum is going to protect us, think again. The only way to beat these people is to get in their face now. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com We're into hour number two. Our guests can stay with us about another 15 minutes. If you go to PrisonPlanet.com or InfoWars.com, I'm going to have these stories red link. National Guard whistleblower, doomsday preppers will be treated as terrorists. Then we linked all the admissions separately in media and by the military of that. Just open treason. They're just normalizing it in front of everyone. And an incredible CNN clip that's got no attention from Piers Morgan. Uh, Ted Turner, I think it's good U.S. troops are killing themselves. All right, going back to um, Soldier X. Uh, he's in the uh, National Guard out of Texas. He sent us all his documentation. Everything he tells us, we can already check out separately. He's just giving us an inside perspective. Uh, but I can confirm what he's saying. Uh, sir, just continue here uh, with, I mean, what's it like when your NCOs are telling you that, yeah, during the collapse, we'll go take guns, which we saw in Katrina, and that, yeah, people that just, period, having guns are terrorists. I mean, that's how you get our guns. Well, you're just terrorists, gun owners. So all the good old boys that love the police state because it was for Muslims, I told you it was always for you. Uh, what do you say to that? I, I don't agree with it. I mean, it, it, it's a suicide mission. You're talking about going taking guns from regular hardworking Americans who are willing to die for their guns, and I'm not. I, I'm not going to stand to do that. I, it, it's it's suicide. You're talking about, I'm going to walk up to somebody's door and knock on the door and say, oh, sorry, sir, I'm with the National Guard and I'm here to take your guns. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to do propaganda and burn down houses and blow them up, say terrorists, turn your guns in if you want food. They know the preppers have got food, so they, they'll they be able to withstand the Soviet-style takeover. That's what this is, is a siege takeover. Uh, and uh, they're worried about all sorts of insurrection, you name it. But the globalists want that. They want the military and police fighting with the citizens. They're going to sit offshore while a civil war starts. I'm telling you, that's on the front burner now. They've got all these fake anonymous groups calling for storming the White House the day before the election and for uh, bombing things. And remember all the Obama's uh, top advisors saying he needs a terror attack to blame it on his enemies? Remember that? Do you, do you remember that, uh, Soldier X? Yes, yes, I remember that. 
Well, we link to all that in our articles. I'll have a special report tonight. Uh, uh, keep giving us other tidbits here. There's uh, been prepping for the takeover, basically, um, during the civil unrest, we're supposed to take over grocery stores, gas stations, and what have you. Um, there's been prepping for that. Um, they've been receiving pieces of equipment to put together makeshift uh, fuel points, basically. They'll be able to set these fuel bags up anywhere they want and set up a fuel point, shut off any gas stations, and if you want fuel, you're going to have to go to them to get it, which means you're going to have to turn yourself over or give up your guns or whatever they want for you in order for you to get fuel and the things you need to to uh, survive. That's right. It's a, it's a drawing and coordinating and blockading. Exactly what Stuart Rhodes has gotten intel on, and the military is openly training for this. And that's how they always get your guns, and that's how the Soviets do it, is they lock everybody down. That's why the TSA, Rob Dude just flew out to see his wife, who's working out of town. He said TSA was all past the checkpoint searching people and running IDs, and that's what it is. You're just, oh, okay, you try to come in the grocery store, they got troops there, They're, they'll have TSA-style goons there who are the political officers, they run your license. Oh, come with us. We need to talk to you. Everybody's trained to go with them, and you just disappear. Then they load you on a truck to go to actual killers, and, and then they're going to get off on it. I mean, they're really the scum like this. Just, just you can see them get creamy eyed when they're loading people on trucks. Just the pleasure of that to these powerless, weak scum. It's an aphrodisiac to them. Well, I can tell you that uh, there's a lot of us who have decided that. When, when the shit does hit the fan that we're not going to answer the call to come forward and, and help these people. Uh, it's, uh, well, to help the enemy, what, what I consider the enemy, um, the people that I've been fighting for all this time, I, I never thought that they would stab me in the back and, and do this to me, but they are. We've confirmed who he is. Everything he's told us, we've already reverse engineered and have Army training manuals and other sources i can confirm it all you saw katrina where they went and took the guns of the high and dry uh people that they saw as preppers that were prepared and self-sufficient that's the enemy of the globalist globalism is about deindustrialization. now i want you to recap everything you told me and then tell me the part about the i-4 nato troops because in the nle training national level exercise 9 10 11 12 they classified they said they trained with troops from 14 nations to take on, quote, American terrorists. So uh, we do know that they do plan to use mercenaries. They also want to use drones. Those can be pre-programmed to go take out patriots uh, and, and then have plausible deniability and even say terrorists blew up somebody's house. So that's why we're going into this cyber war system as well. Uh, God help us. A lot of people are going to hear this and decide to serve the New World Order. Uh, they're going to you know, crouch down and lick the hand that feeds them. Those that cried, appease, appease, were hung by those they tried to, to please. Uh, when freedom fails, the good men rot in filthy jails. Um, this is the globalist takeover. I mean, they're, they're coming out in the open. Ted Turner's on the news saying he wants troops to commit suicide. It's a good thing. Played that clip last hour. I'm not joking. We'll play it again. Uh, we have open world government being announced on the news channels. New World Order was announced again with Ted Turner. Uh, they are just doing it because a lot of the public is doesn't know what planet they're on who are into sports and entertainment. And then those of us that are aware, we're the enemy. Well, obviously, we're not under the mind control. We're not under the... Okay, recap everything you said. Get to the latest info. And again, then I want to talk to you about when they're in these meetings, telling all of you that, you know, if you're a prepper or a patriot, you're the enemy, you'll be dealt with. If you, you know, we're going to get the guns. If you don't go along with it, you're going to be dealt with. I mean, that is, let me tell you, folks, I've never called for violence, but don't go to a FEMA camp and don't let them take you away. If people just go, okay, I'll go with you, they're going to win. And my God, I mean, this is real, ladies and gentlemen. And this is so insane, but it's real. It's history. Look at all the other countries, what they've gone through. It's all being set up here. The government, 1.6 billion bullets. Okay, you've got the floor. Uh, we'll call you uh, uh, Soldier X. Known to us, we have your military ID, history, whole deal. Made some calls, confirmed things. Uh, but everything you're saying in Melissa Melton's article off Rob Dew's report last night has all the links to backing up in mainstream news what you've said, but you're putting it all together. Recap it all. Okay, um, basically what's happening is uh, the troops are being told that they're going to be used in the civil unrest that they expect to happen before, during, and after the election. There's been prepping for 
the certification uh, for taking over grocery stores, fuel points, uh, uh, gas stations, basically shutting everything down and setting up makeshift points where if you want stuff, you're going to have to go to the American government to get it, which means if you own guns, if you own weapons or anything, you're going to have to turn those things over in order to get the things you need to survive. And basically, um, they've said that, that any of these doomsday preppers will be treated as terrorists and that any of us National Guard guys who consider ourselves doomsday preppers would be treated as defects and we'd be handled accordingly. During these meetings, when they've told us these things, um, it's kind of like shock and awe. I mean, you, they, they tell you these things and in your head, you, you know, you never thought you'd hear that from your leaders that, you know, this is actually happening in our country. It's always something that you see happening in Libya. Yeah, they might as well, they might as well slap, you know, hammers and sickles on the sides of the tanks. Right. Go ahead, keep going. And so, um, basically what we see happening, because I know there's a big number of troops that aren't going to want to go along with this fascist movement, and they're going to want to, um, basically break away and join the rest of the patriots in the fight against the, the this movement. And so our question was, you know, if we walk away, who are they going to have to fight for them? Well, you know, every day we hear in the news about how, oh, we're no longer at war, we're just peacekeeping and all this. But if we're not at war, then why are we preparing for war? They're still building war fighting vehicles. They're still building war fighting equipment. They're still doing all They have the stuff. biggest defense budget ever. They just don't, under the U.N. model, where they go around murdering, bombing, slaughtering, raping, killing people, putting them in slave labor camps. Just look it up. Look up UN sex trade, UN slave camps, UN slave labor everywhere. They call it peacekeeping. It's like Obama is the peace prize winner. All these new wars with Al Qaeda, helping Al Qaeda, our government working with Al Qaeda, are called peace operations. And he'll he'll get more awards the more people he kills. So it's all a big sick joke. But they signed deals with the Mexican and um, Canadian government a decade ago to, quote, work together to fight terrorists inside the U.S. or insurrections. Uh, the, now, 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 talking to people, what percentage, roughly, of the National Guard troops in Texas that you talk to uh, are realize what they're hearing is the equivalent of, you know, Soviet troops parachuting out of the sky? I mean, it's just open, in your face, totally illegal, totally criminal, totally off-the-chart evil. I would say with... The, all the, the ones that I always have contact with, I would say between 80 and 90 percent of them aren't going to stand for this. Yeah, that's that's the numbers we've got. And so what they're going to do is they're going to attack the military and say patriots did it. Just, just be ready for that. And again, if you're an offshore global crime syndicate that wants to bring down the United States and reorganize it, what do you do? You get the military and police who in your own manuals you say are your big enemies. The high-level manuals say that's who they don't trust because they know on average they're not bad men and women. They've been compartmentalized. So you try to get the younger ones to hate the older ones. This is The Nazis did this. The Soviets did this. When Mao took over, he did this two years after taking over. Hitler did it less than a year. Night of the Long Knives. Look it up. Uh, St uh, Lenin did it. Then Stalin did it. Then Khrushchev did it. They always get rid of the last group. Whatever group brings them in, they long knife, okay? And, and that's it. They do want to have, it's called a purge of the military and police. And look, none of this has to happen. I want to explain something. I don't think this is probably, I'm going to tell you my gut. I don't think this is going to happen because we've gotten the word out. You've gotten the word out. I know the globalist model. Listen to me carefully. I want to get your take on this. They put out these ideas over and over again. I've been to drills, you know, 14 years ago witnessing just this. And people saw it and said those can't be real Marines back then because it was just so alien. Now, we've all just had it introduced. The officer's telling you this. They're compartmentalized. They don't know. They're told to take notes on responses. So they're, they're intelligence gathering because the a foreign enemy's taken over. The officers are operating as foreign enemy agents now. They're there assessing who will go along with this, and they're marking them down for sheep-dipping cadres to lead Homeland Brigade covert groups, InfraGuard type groups. Okay, you know, uh, so, so they're looking for people for the security services to, to really take, out, to, to take us down later. And then they're identifying those of you to put on list. They can't move against us now. A foreign force can't move against us now. They may be bold and try it, though. I've, I've miscalculated before with how... How arrogant and 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 and, and, and the the unspeakable bravada, uh, chutzpah, uh, 
I don't know, the best term would be hubris of these people. It's, it's hubris, the power of infinity. But I don't, uh, they may try it, though, because here's the deal. Here's why I may be wrong. When I'm wargaming all this in my mind and all my study, they could plan it on being the Civil War. See, either they want the Civil War for us all to kill each other, and they could drop the hammer, but the military and police will just be annihilated. Because, what I mean, even, there's 170 million gun owners. I estimate 10%, once it starts, will start resisting. Because it's not fear, it's more people have just been in a sleep state. People just go crazy and say, it's time to die. I mean, I know my fellow Americans, that it's going to be unbelievable if this actually happens. It'll wipe out the police and military, then they'll beg for the foreign assets to come help them. They'll go into fortress modes, which they've been preparing for. Yeah, your take on that? My take on that is that uh, they're already uh, wiping, wiping those of us who aren't going to stand with them out. Um, there's uh, been troops that uh, recently have been uh, kicked out of the military uh, that have given 20 to 30 years of their lives to this military, and they call it that they're doing cutbacks and replacing the ranks with new faces and new soldiers, but we don't see the replacing at all. All we see is the getting rid of, and basically the way they're doing that is, uh, before this year what they used to do, they used to send you a random letter in the mail, saying, sorry, you're out of a job, and in the National Guard, if you're a federal technician, you have to be in the Guard to have your job, and once you get that letter saying, sorry, your service is no longer needed in the Guard, you're out of a job, and there's no transition programs, there's nothing in place to help you go from soldier to civilian, and so basically, they just throw you out on the street with nothing, and basically, that just seems like they're... And little... again, and, they, and then they're going to make you the enemy, they've said you're the enemy, they make people serve six, seven, eight tours. They never did more than one. They know it destroys the troops. They know it hurts them. Every They give you deadly vaccines. While saying you're going to be a terrorist later, everything was to destroy you. I mean, are the guys seeing that now? Yes. And a lot of us believe that the anthrax shot we were given was was some sort of other experimental shot, or even if it was anthrax shot. No, no, it was experimental, and it was a slow kill. I'm sorry to inform you. Okay, well, uh Anytime we ask questions, we don't ever get any answers on stuff like that. Um, when they gave us the anthrax shot, they would make us sit there for 20 to 30 minutes to see if we would have a severe reaction. Well, now soldiers are coming home and dying oh. from these mysterious causes, and basically it seems like they're just wiping us all out, and what they're going to do is bring in some other world country to take over this country. No, they are. They've wiped us all out already. They've killed us culturally. I just can't believe this is actually happening. They're either just getting everybody acclimated to do this down the road, because they will fail. But then failing, it's more chaos, more death. If they go for the Civil War option, it could be, they could be getting ready to do it. Uh, and, uh, man, I, I just, we got to get the word out. For, I know for new listeners out there, this is blowing you away. Let's do one more segment, or is that officer going to come over again and tell you to get back to work? Can you keep talking to us, or you got to go? Um, I got to go, because, like, he's in the area, and he's, like, on my... No, I heard him during the break. <laughs> Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. <laughs>